I don't have to tell you about gridlock in Washington. Everybody knows it's terrible for our country, our economy, our children. Politicians sit and prattle while nothing gets done. Congressmen fly home on corporate jets to raise money from groups with no goals other than advancing their own narrow, selfish interests. All the while, hard-working Americans are struggling. The debt is growing, the planet is heating up, the roads are crumbling, our schools are floundering. You get the picture. And everybody knows this, and everybody accepts it, and everybody thinks it's just some fact of life. How did we get into this state, this state of apathy and stagnation, of blocked bills and blocked progress? Because responsible people like you are just sitting on the couch. Some people are loud, some people are very loud, and these zealots show up. They vote in primaries, they give money, they create a hyper-partisan Washington. That's how democracy works. The people who get off the couch and yell and scream get what they want. So, get off the couch. America is the richest, most vibrant, most diverse democracy in the history of civilization. But democracy isn't a spectator sport. Great nations don't run on autopilot. Responsible people need to do responsible things. You're busy? Well, we're all busy. So were the Americans who drafted the Constitution, and the Americans who landed at Normandy, and the Americans who marched for civil rights. So get off the couch, vote for action, because all it would take to start changing this mess is for sane people like you to elect three to five moderate senators willing to work together to solve real problems. Three to five moderate senators willing to tip the balance of power from the extremes back to the middle. Back to the moderate political middle where 70% of Americans say they are. What will you tell your grandchildren you did when the country was falling apart? Get off the couch.